I play a few instruments. I play violin, mandolin, guitar, and in college I was playing some other ones like viola da gamba and lute. And I get asked a bit about playing mini instruments. And people often are impressed when they see, oh, you're playing mandolin and you're playing fiddle in the same set. And it's really not that hard. This lesson in particular is going to be about playing mandolin for violin players. Since I grew up a classical violinist, I found it pretty easy to go to mandolin, especially in playing melody lines. The right hand took a little while and building chords took a little while. But for a violinist who is able to play solo works like uh, this stuff, you will be able to go to mandolin and play melodies, fiddle tunes, etc. pretty easily. Violin and mandolin have the same strings, or at least the same courses. G, D, A, E, G, D, A, E. Mandolin are doubled strings, violin are single strings. But they are the same notes, and it's roughly the same spacing. So going to mandolin from violin, you'll be able to play the melodies. Uh, the left hand will work pretty well. The spacing is maybe slightly different, but having frets to guide will help. Uh, the right hand, however, for violinists is going to be a bit trickier. Violinists are used to the bowing technique, and that is probably the hardest part, in my opinion, of violin playing. So let's look at a couple right hand techniques to get used to playing mandolin and playing with a pick for fiddle players. So first is just a simple up-down picking. Ideally you want to have your hand floating above the strings. If you have to anchor with the palm, it's not the worst. And much like playing with the bow, you want to pick between the bridge and the fingerboard. You'll be able to figure out your scales, especially one octave and even some of the two octave scales pretty easily. So let's just take the one octave scales, such as D, and play that slowly. Use all down strokes. So down, down, Having the frets is kind of like going back to your basics in violin and playing with tape. Next, let's go to the down-up picking. Down-up, 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 and so on. And we're going to play the same scale, but whereas we played quarter notes before, we'll play eighth notes now. And the eighth notes will be repeated. So... A lot of violinists won't remember their early days on violin, since a lot of violinists start at the age of three or four. But if you do remember your early playing, you might remember some of the bowing patterns like running, running, walk, walk, or wish I had a motorcycle, right? So you have the wish I had a motorcycle, wish I had a motorcycle, which would be something like all eighth notes, or running, running, walk, walk. So the running, running, walk, walk pattern, that eighth, 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 quarter, quarter, we're going to use down, up, down, up, down, down. Eighth notes are down, up, quarter notes are all downs. And you can do that in a scale. Or if you're going into it for some sort of folk music reason, such as bluegrass, you might be playing the bluegrass shuffle pattern, this down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So we'll take a look at the easy fiddle tune, boil them cabbage down, and play it with that. One, two, three, four. Try 
that on all strings on A. On E. On G. Let's go back to D and drone it with the A. This is going to start to give you the idea of playing chords and also using drone strings. So we're going to play the A at the same time. Make sure that the left hand curls over the strings such that you have space on the A. So let's go ahead and look at just a couple of the easy, easy chord patterns. Eventually on mandolin, you might be playing chords like this. Those can be a little bit tricky for a violinist to learn right off the bat. There's some really, really easy two finger patterns and a couple that are just a little bit harder that can allow you to play, well, all the chords. So I'll just run through these chords. G. Open. Open, two, three. So I'm speaking frets, not fingers. Open, open, first finger, second finger, but on second fret and third fret. G chord. If you move that pattern down one string each, there's a C. First finger on the second fret, second finger on the third fret. Open, two, three, open, C. D can be played like this. First finger, second fret. Open, open, second fret. So two, open, open, two. Play a song with G, C, and D. Two, three, four, C. G. D. Chords like A minor or E minor can be played with just two fingers, although it might not be a true minor chord. It might be a modal chord as an A, which doesn't have a third. And E, which if you play the low G, it's an inverted chord, but that is an E minor. However, if you use one finger to cover two strings and then the second finger for another string, you can get a pretty easy three string chord. Minor. Scale degrees 1, 5, and 3. Fret numbers 2, 2, 3. So there's your minor. There's your minor. E minor. The name of the chord is going to be based off the lowest played note. So that'd be A minor, that'd be B flat minor, B minor, C minor. C sharp minor, etc. E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, on up the scale. If you take your third and move it up one half step or play it with the third finger, you get your major chord. Scale degrees one, five, major three. And again, moving it chromatically up the neck, your first finger will dictate what chord you're playing. A. B flat, B, C, and so on. So using these closed position chords, we could play another 1-4-5 progression in, say, the key of A. 1, 2, 3, 4, A. D. A. E. A. D. Playing a folky sort of style music like bluegrass or Irish 
can be a little bit tricky for a classical violinist since a lot of us came from a background of playing sheet music, playing in orchestras and chamber groups. So armed with these simple tricks, you can get to playing pretty intermediate level mandolin in a hurry if you come from a violin background. Please subscribe for more mandolin lessons and guitar and violin. Check out some of the other videos like these for mandolin tunes. Thank you and see you next time.